2003, I was a 22-year-old boy in post-9-11 America. A boy who didn't want to sit it out. A boy who wanted to make a difference. You see in war, you can make it out with your life. All your limbs, your body intact. It returns home safe. But you, there's a stranger inside your skin. A person you don't know. A person you don't care to know. And somewhere in the world, trapped behind the steel door of a cell, a boy screams out. But no one hears him. I am forever a stranger, a stranger, a stranger. Hi, thanks for coming. Uh, Carol and I just wanted to thank you all for coming and spending this special night with us because, as you know, tonight is uh, our last night with Jack before he ships out to Iraq. And uh, I know that Sabrina and Kelly are gonna miss Jack, scaring all their dates away. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna have to step up my game. <laughs> uh, no, really. Um, just wanna say, uh, I want you to be safe, Jack. And uh, really gonna miss you, bud. Really gonna miss you. So, here's to Jack. 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 Oh, yeah, baby. We got. Oh, well, we got. Walking on a tiger. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Remember the first time we came out here? <laughs> yes. Why are you laughing? You mean we were 14 and you sang me with the worst voice ever? What? I didn't have a bad voice. Terrible. What are you talking about? Terrible. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. I never knew I could Jack. love anybody. Jack, just stop. Honey, like I'm loving you. Oh, my God. I didn't realize <laughs> what a pair of eyes and a baby smile could do. <laughs> no, I never knew I could love anybody. Honey, like I'm loving you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Get over here.
father's life. Squad. A small military unit forming part of a platoon. That's Ryan Fox, poster boy of the military. He's third generation. Nah, that's Rodeo. Always a smile. Thinks he's a wild man. And that's Gable. The opposite. That's Babatunde Agundale. He's from Nigeria and the boys can't pronounce his name, so we just call him Tunde. And that's Eugene Thao. But we call him Pitt. <laughs> this is my squad. These are my brothers. Gentlemen and ladies, soldiers of the United States Army Reserve, the 280 acres of sand within these walls will be your home for the next six months until the new year. This is the largest United States enemy detainee facility in the world, bigger than Guantanamo Bay. We hold some of the world's most dangerous terrorists here, the worst of the worst. That is why we have you, the best of the best soldiers of the free world. The intelligence garnered here will have a global impact, make no mistake about it. This is also one of the most dangerous facilities in the world. Only 20 miles outside of Baghdad, we will receive constant mortar fire day in and day out. Insurgents will attempt to breach these walls. That is because what happens within these walls, historians will regard as the front lines of the war. Who are? Who are? Within these walls, your families will be made safe. Who are? Within these walls, the war on terror will be won. Who are? Welcome to Iraq. Welcome to Abu Ghraib. It'll be the new year before you know it. Who are? <laughs> The barracks were originally outside in the tents, but we switched with the detainees as soon as the mortar started. And there's no generator, so make sure you got plenty of batteries for your flashlights. Right up there, boys. Thanks. See you around. Oh, shit. What the fuck, man? Oh, my God. You gotta be kidding me, right? Come on, it can't be that bad. All right, no whining. Oh, what my God. What the heck is that smell? Human ash. It's a fucking crematorium. Oh, fuck. Oh, good. And we have blood on the ground. Great. Oh, man. All right, guys. 25 minutes. We're at the motor pool. What the hell's going on? This used to be Saddam's prison, you guys. Purged 40,000 people here. Really? Turned them, starved them, hung them. Yeah, his son, Ude. Would peel the skin off the soles of the feet of the Iraqi uh -huh. soccer players when they lost the match. And then he dipped them in hydrochloric acid. I swear to you. Yo, man, that's fucked up. Shit. Well, apparently, it's bones and graves everywhere, supposedly. So, you know, watch your step, yeah. folks. <laughs> These cots are super fucking comfortable, you guys. Seriously. Everybody get the house! Dude, are you kidding me? That shit away. You brought that? <laughs> it smells good, man. It smells good, man. What no, are you dude, doing? I'm throwing this shit away. That's oh. bullshit. We're in the fucking army, dude. Grow up. Jesus Christ. Day one. All right, fellas. Welcome to the motor pool. It's good to have some fresh faces around here. We're positioned between the two most heavily ied roads on Earth. So the more transport missions that occur, the more work we're likely to have. Sometimes it's chaotic. Sometimes there's nothing to do. I know you guys have been asked this before, but bear with me, all right? The base is low on military police. We just don't have enough numbers to guard the thousands of detainees. So they're asking for volunteers to pick up MP shifts. I can spare some of you. So if any of you want the opportunity, let me know. Nobody signed up for MP duty because of Private Farrell. 
Who's that? If you're an MP, you got one of two duties. One, you guard hundreds of detainees in the outdoor compounds. Some of which may be innocent. Some have been in the wrong place at the wrong time. Others are pretty bad. But either way, they hound you all day and you're a babysitter for grown-ups. Two, you work in the hard site. Guard some of the craziest, most fucked up people in the world. Some shit you can't even see. You know what I mean? Private Farrell signed up for MP duty a few months back. Got a hard side ship. Ended up shooting himself in the foot. By accident. Fuck that fucking douchebag. Private fucking Farrell. He's back home watching preseason football at Jody Bars and sipping pina coladas. I will literally kill that little fuck if I ever see him again. This place is miserable enough. Trust me, do your time. Try not to get blown up, and you'll be good. Okay, I'm leaving. This lady's the creepiest shit I've ever experienced in my life. Go. Under. Are those fucking people who murdered in here? Believe in ghosts or what? Really? You wanna really say something like that? I hope you wake up and your dick is on the ground. <laughs> Stay with me, man. Thank you. 
Day two. We soon realized that other than the mortar threat, Captain Hayes' pump-up speech was just that. A speech. Uh, I need direct orders on it. We are not soldiers on the front line of a war. We are overtrained yard hands. Underutilized. Oh my lord, we're connected! <laughs> Day after day, we do the same thing. One becomes indistinguishable from the next. Stuck in a never-ending routine. We have no phones, no mail, no TV, and no internet. We spend our free time drowning the day's discontent under steel bars. Shower. Dinner. Then we sit outside until the late hours of the night. Something about the fire makes it feel like home. That's all right, Gable. I'm glad that you're here. Nice to see a pair of tits, but I ain't no quit. No! We chillin' where it's hot. We chillin' in this spot. Ain't no motherfuckin' high. Rocky's love on this spot. <laughs> Day 28, and still no phones. We come up with games, but there are only so many scorpions. At Abu Ghraib, we do not fight insurgents. We fight each other. We do not fight terrorists. We fight boredom. Boredom out. Over. We do not gather intel. We do not save lives. We do not have global implications. I start to remind myself, the new year, this is my war. Good afternoon, sir. Sergeant Farmer reporting is ordered. At ease. What can I do for you? I was wondering if you're still looking for volunteers for the military police. MP duty. Why now? I'd like to make a difference. You don't think you are? The motor pool is a lot of manpower, sir. I think my skills could be better utilized. You talk to your motor sergeant? Yes, sir. <clears throat> How old are you, Farmer? 22, sir. You know what the hard side is? Yes, sir. Well, I have a shift to fill. It is yours if you want it. Thank you, sir.
Okay, when you finish your shift at the motor pool, then report to the hard side at 1700. Dismissed. Uh, sir. Yeah. What about training? I don't have any experience as an MP. Uh, you'll do fine. Good afternoon, sir. Sergeant? Tanner. Farmer, why are you whispering? You better take your shirt off. My shirt? Yeah. If you learn your name, then we'll be able to send a packet of anthrax to your family. Okay. Come on. I'll show you around. Yeah, thank you. Well, this bucket's for water. This one's for waste. I'll give you one guess who gets to empty that out. <laughs> um, they're also given a sheet, but don't let them cover themselves up when they're on the shitter. Why not? Humiliation. It's one of the ways we use to soften them up for military intelligence. Also, isolation. Detainees are not allowed to talk to each other, and especially not to you, all right? Do not talk to a detainee under any circumstances, except to give them a direct order. OK. What's this? Stress position, another technique we use to soften them up without doing much harm. Shit. That hurt? Fucking ain't right, it hurts. Check this guy out. MI specifically requested that we have him ready by tomorrow morning, so he's been up for 32 hours. I saw this shit, I, I thought it was pretty weird too, all right? Yeah. Yeah. You get used to it. And you just yeah. gotta remember why they're in here, all right? They are stone cold fucking murderers. These are the guys planting IEDs and lobbing mortars over the wall, okay? We think this guy killed two of our people. No fucking compassion. All right, That's basically it. You give them their three square, you patrol every 10 minutes, and make sure they're not doing anything they're not supposed to be doing. Like what? Talking to each other, shitting on the floor, exercising without approval, masturbating. It's a delicate balance. If they do anything to fuck with you, you gotta jump right on it. Take away their privileges, right? Strip their clothes, take away their sheet, blast music and keep them up all night. Handcuff their hands to the bars, don't let them sit down. You do this until they listen to you, all right? Some of them are harder to break than others, but eventually they all go down. Once they do, you own them. You're supposed to be doing this? You fucking hit right, we're supposed to be doing it. Chain of command expects you to do your job, soldier. Mm hmm. Hua? Yeah, Hua. It's actually kind of fun. Watch this. Hey, Chewy! Chewy! <laughs> <sighs> now, their ISN numbers are hard to remember, and their names are impossible to pronounce, so. We sort of make up nicknames. 
This guy over here, the last four digits of his ISN number are 1010, so we call him Double Dime. This guy's Mr. Clean, for obvious reasons. And uh, down here, we call him Jimmy Dean. <laughs> uh, and this one, we're not quite sure yet. We, some go with Stay Puff for Ghostbusters, others like Rosie O'Donnell. Over here, we have Old Man River. Pretty quiet. And last but not least, we have this sick bastard. We call him the bartender. He serves up cocktails pretty frequently. What's a cocktail? It's a concoction of feces, urine, and any other bodily fluids he can come up with. Jesus. Yeah. Well, we put him down here, make it a little bit harder for him to get to us. There's some newbies coming in tomorrow, so I'll be here for that. Beyond that, I'm the next block. OK. There should be two MPs on every block, but we don't have the numbers, so here's the deal. You have to be aggressive, all right? If they sense weakness, you're in trouble. They'll stick a nail in your throat without any hesitation. So just remember this. This is your block. You run it. What do you mean? I mean, we're the United States military. Aren't we supposed to lead by example, you know? Farmer, what the fuck are you talking about, man? These are the fucking guys who capture American journalists, decapitate them slowly, videotape that shit, send it all over the world, and you're seriously sitting here concerned about a little fucking panty in their face? <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like a regular Saturday night to me. You know what I'm <laughs> No, no, know, fellas. I think a lot of people in here didn't even do anything. Oh, bullshit, man. I heard a 13-year-old got arrested for playing soccer. Goes to patrol. No, man, those guys are outside in the compound. The level two detainees. Farmer's in the hard side, man. He's in the shit. Well, what's that? Well, it's where MI keeps all the most valuable inmates. You see him interrogate anybody? No, Intel's got their own trailers for that. Hey, so what kind of training they give you? Actually, they give me any training. They just throw you guys in there with a bunch of fucking psychos and you know, just figure it out? Uh, enough of this depression talk. You guys are making me want to slit my wrist. I've been over here trying to keep myself calm, writing a song for all of us to sing, OK? What do you mean? What are you talking about? A song? <laughs> a, a song. It's a freaking fire. Let's have a cool moment. Oh, it's a long time. All right, listen. So here, here's the song, all right? So it goes, uh, the boys of AG say we always know that we got each other's back wherever we go. Who are? 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 Best of delivery. Sergeant <laughs> Shaw. Where you want him? Uh, it's right here in the middle. Come on, guys. Yella, yella. Wow. How long they been like this? Oh. About 18 hours. Oh, Staff Sergeant. There he is. 18 hours, huh? Yeah. They're feeling it. All right, well, we got it from here. Thanks. Y'all right, be good, boys. Oh, shit. Yeah, you get used to the smell. Here, right there. Sensory deprivation? Yeah, can't see, can't hear. I lose track of time. What is that? Is that sweat? Sweat and tears. Start them off on the right foot. Now, you want to hear a funny story? <coughs> this one Haji was actually innocent. <coughs> but when we <coughs> sense stepped him, he admitted to it anyway. <coughs> Good. All right, we'll go ahead and take the rest of it off, and we'll lock them up. Hoods, the goggles? Yeah, the ears, everything.
Guys are the worst of the worst. Don't look like much. <laughs> Looks like that one left a little present for you. Are you gonna let him do that? <laughs> think that's funny? Huh? You think that's funny? <clears throat> oh! Hey! You, you think the first fucking hard job had to potty train? Fuck! Ah, piece on, of shit! You all right? Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be fun. You have no idea what's in store for you. Oh, no, look, but... Oh, ha! Is that the best you got for me? Come on, this is gonna be too easy. You gotta make me work for it. Come on! Oh, no, look, but... Oh, oh, come on! Oh, 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 Shut them up. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah, louder. Come on. Shut up. You think I'm messing with you? Shut up. You are fucking with the United States Army. Yeah. You keep fucking, motherfucker. You are going to be in serious trouble. Oh, there's a smart one. Look at that. He just earned himself a nickname. I'm going to call him. I'm gonna call him Silent Bob. Oh boy, Silent Bob. Come on. You wanna taste this? You got fucking piss taste like? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come now, how about some drink? Come on. Oh, no. Taste it. Oh, no. You got a Hello, Wakbot. Hello, Wakbot. Hey, you like that? Go on, get smart. Get smart, taste it. Oh, you piece of shit. Hello, Wakbot. Taste it. You like that? That a boy. Nice. You see? There you go, fellas. Nice performance. Woo! Got ourselves some good learners. All right, want to go clean joust here? No fucking around. Cut through. Let's get go. It. Woo get set. Yeah. Love to not get some shit. Wrap it up. Let's do this. Well, that's a mile for well, sure. No, way under. Fuck here we go. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking idiots. It's been freaking time. Why don't you guys come and do some work, huh? Fuck you. Hey, bye. Okay. Hey, bye. River. River. You fucking with me, River? Huh? Shit! Oh, shit. Medic! Medic! Come on, man, wake up. Wake up! What happened? I don't know, he was fine a minute ago. Oh, shit. I thought you got stabbed or something. Wow. Old man River. He's dead. Come on, man. He is gone. Fuck! Where the fuck is the medic? Let it go, dude. Who cares? Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Man, he's a haji, come on. Yes. It's not worth it, man. What the fuck are you doing? Come on, man. He's a fucking Haji. You're gonna get fucking TB, man. Come on. Get up. Get the fuck off, man. Jesus. You shitting me? Come on. Come on. Really? Fine. Come on. Fine. Good luck. Come on, help me. Good luck. Fuck. I'm done with this fucking kid. Come on. Good? Dude, I would kill for some real food right now. I would I'm do done. anything. If you could eat anything right now, what would you eat? Apple pie, all the mud, caramel on top. Oh. How about you, farmer? My mom's blueberry muffins. Mmm, so good. Dude, I sure you made out with a fucking haji. Is that shit true? <laughs> Did you fucking do it, dude? Dude. You fucking made out with a dead Haji, man. What are you, what are you talking about? Fuck, man, this idiot just goes mouth to mouth with a dead Haji. I just heard that shit from the text. Fuck, man. I mean, what the...
What the fuck did he taste like? I just, I can't even, God, worse than this shit. You know, you probably got TB or some shit, dude. You listerine the shit out of your mouth or what? Yeah, man, I did. Dude, I'm, I'm just messing with you, man. The guy died on my shift. I mean, what the fuck? Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm... Shut up, all right? I can't wait for the fucking new year. Back. Get back. No talking. Understand? No talking. I need to speak to you. You know English? Yes. I can't talk to you. It's important. It's made a weapon. A weapon? Or what? I don't know, but I saw it. Yeah? Yes. Believe me. I don't. I'm not lying. Okay. We'll see. Watch me search that fucking cell. I'm not lying. I swear. Give me your blanket. I swear to you. I'm trying to help. Zer! 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 
It's been three and a half months. Still no phones. How long have you been in Iraq? Too long. How old are you? Where'd you learn to speak English so well? I lived in London. Got my degree from King's College. Impressive. I like you better when you're silent. You're not like the other soldiers. Yeah? How's that? I saw you help that dead man. Is that why you warned me about the weapon? You treat everyone like a human being. I know you are a good man. What's your name? Jack. Jack. Okay. Ghazi Hamoud. Ghazi? Yes. It's nice to meet you. Jack. Yeah. Two more soldiers died today. One of them was Fox's boy. You try not to admit it to yourself, but I'm just so fucking happy it wasn't you. Pancake or brownie? Um, 
Well, what is that? It's an MRE. Meal ready to eat. I'm not promising it tastes any better than what you usually have, but it's just something different. Brownie? Good choice. What do you think? It's good. Thank you. And you, um, you all eat these every day? Yeah, usually. Most of us ate them, though. Mm -hmm. You don't like it, do you? No. <laughs> it's awful, man. It really, really is. It's terrible. That's all we got, though. Four weeks until the new year. We're invigorated. We can finally see the end. Shit, what's that smell? Someone taking a shit? Oh, yeah, I remember. It's just those pits. <laughs> <laughs> it's all we talk about. The things we're looking forward to leaving behind. Mystery meat? Wow. <laughs> Take a shit, a little blue water that splashes up on your ass. Right? Uh, <laughs> you don't like the bidet? The blue bidet? No. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part of the day. You're, uh, You're missing out. Oh, Masturbation. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? You think I got some stanky bitches take care of that <laughs> shit back at home? <laughs> wow. Uh, let's, let's get a hoo-ha about pizza, stinky bitches. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Said that to her. Yeah, I was being honest. What'd she do? She punched me. She didn't even uh, slap me. She punched me. What? <laughs> yeah, no. I think I, uh, I deserve it, though, I guess. I don't know. Depends on how hard that punch was. Hey, she was a pretty big girl. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I have uh, a family now. You have any children? My um, little boy is five, and my little girl is a uh, three. You miss them? Every second I am here, I think about them. It's been like that uh, since they were born. How, uh, how'd you wind up here? I was in a city where Bob Manor. I'm Arab with a degree in engineering, president of Islamic society and college. What um, more do they need? Why, um, why are you here? Why am I here? Yeah. Why did you become a soldier? My father, he, uh, as long as I can remember, he's at this blank stare. I mean, he's got a great life and a great family and everything, but sometimes I just look at him and I see him wishing for more, like he, Missed out on something, you know? And me and my dad were the same. Everyone compares us like we're brothers. So I saw this life ahead of me, and it was great. It was perfect. Then I saw myself an old man not having done much. 
I just wanted something more. I want to make a difference, you know? Give something in the world, something big. I want to be a man who could look back and be okay with it all. Be a man with no regrets. You know what it is? You know exactly what you mean. Do you um, have any children? Nah. Why are you laugh? You don't want children? Nah. <laughs> I do, I just... It's not ready yet. Well, you haven't found the right girl yet. Pretty sure I have. Well, she's um... She's beautiful, Jack. Thanks. Are you, uh, are you married? I was gonna ask her when I got back. Good, good. Never wait, my friend. Never wait. What do you say when we get out of here? We share a couple of real brownies. I would like that. Hey, fellas, what's up? I need to bring a detainee to MI for interrogation. Last four digits, 4878. 4878? Four, eight, eight. Yep. 4878. Yeah, yeah. Right over here. Ready? It's a wall. Feet apart. Ankles. Yep. Seven. Oh. Seven. Oh. Bag. Clear. I know I told you all you would be home by the new year. That was our expectation. But the length of the mission has been extended. Every company in Iraq will do a full year. You've all done an incredible job so far. But we will push on until the mission is complete. I am sure you all miss your loved ones back home. You will each be given a two-week leave within the next couple of months. We're also taking steps to improve living conditions, making some improvements to the facilities, getting you running water, showers. I want you to know that your families are proud of you. The service you are doing here is the most important service of your lives, the most important job.
Right next to you, man. Move back, let him see it. Holy shit. You are one lucky motherfucker, man. All good? Yeah. We should brought Silent Bob back. What's for lunch? Uh, pork. Again? Yeah. All right, see you later, man.
military intelligence want with him? He got questions they think he has an answer to. But they already interrogated him. They were just getting to know him. Not a fun start. Can I come with you? I think I can help. Oh. Man, go ahead. I'll catch you. All right. Yeah, sir. I'm telling you something. Yeah, we've talked. Man, about what? You give something up? No, not really. So what are you telling me, man? Look, I've gotten to know this guy. Whatever he's in here for, I can tell you he did not do. He's just a normal person. He's not going to have any answers for them. Have you told anyone else this? No. All right, look. I can tell you're a good guy, so I'm not going to bust your balls about this. I won't tell anyone what you just told me. But you're a fucking soldier. It's not your job to think you follow orders. So just keep your mouth shut about this, okay? Feet hard. Yellow. Yellow.
Why are you shivering? I dropped the temperature down in the interrogation room. Keep him uncomfortable. I need him pretty soon. No toilet. Let him shit himself. Yes, sir. <clears throat> uh, I hate to do this to you, Farmer, but we can't lose you for two weeks right now. What do you mean, sir? Hey, I'm sorry. I, I just don't have enough bodies. Remember how I said I was going to get to go home and see my girl this week? You taking away my leave? I'm sorry. I... It's not happening. Gazi! Gazi, what are you... Gazi, what are you doing? Stop! Stop! What are you doing? Let me go! Let me go! Ah, stop! Let me go! Let me go! Hello? Hello? Who is that? Hey. Told you. What are you doing? Turn him around. Got him. Yeah, I got him. All right. Turn. Undressing.
is this? What? <laughs> what are we doing to this guy? This shit ain't right. Before I'm stop. Stop what? Man, don't go this way. What way? Defending an innocent man? Fuck you! Fuck me? Fuck you, farmer! Oh, stop! Get out of my way, Ramirez! Oh, this... You fucking piece of shit. You know your little friend in there just made a bomb that killed 18 civilians in a coffee shop? What the... the, the it's bullshit! He, was he just admitted it! Tell him how I built the fucking thing! You're lying. <laughs> Am I? Ask you for yourself, you fucking prick. You're a fucking disgrace. He's lying, right? Stupid. He's telling me he's lying. He told me that he's lying. Did you kill 18 years of people? Did you kill 18? You don't fucking say that to me, you fuck. <laughs> You don't know
another ship, right? Yeah. This is the hard site? Yeah. You should take your shirt off in here. You don't want any of these guys to find out your name. You just put it over there. Okay. Fresh off the boat. Yeah. You? No. So, uh, I'm gonna take you through everything. It's pretty easy. Yeah, I don't have any training as an MP or anything, so... Don't worry about it. Look, just don't trust him. What are you doing? Look. Put the camera away, okay? Hey, as soon as you turn around, these guys are gonna stab you in the fucking back. All right, come on. So, our job is just make sure that nobody's doing anything they shouldn't be, which is basically anything other than sitting, eating, or shitting. They fuck with you in any way, you take away one of their privileges, like their blanket, their clothes, or sleep. Sorry, I didn't mean to fall asleep. Can I say you could sleep? Can I say you could sleep? Detaining Mr. Hayes, show him what it's worth his while not to do so. I got a nickname for this motherfucker. I'm going to serve it. Get your fucking head in there, you piece of shit. How's that smell, huh? How's that smell? I got a question for you, fucking scumbag. Why am I here right now? Why am I here right now, stuck in this fucking desert? Why do I have invisible enemies sending shots over the every fucking day? Oh, you piece of shit. Dude, I still love you. Yeah, I'll always love you. Because of you! Because of you, motherfucker! Because of you! Because of you! Because of you. you piece of fucking shit! Sergeant! <laughs> you okay? You talk to your family right now? Yeah, you on the barbecue. His family's doing fireworks at the beach. Someone's getting ripped for that. Who cares? It's, it's awesome. Beautiful. Things seemed to move a lot faster after that night. I was able to start counting down the days again. It wasn't like the mortar stopped, or the nightmares, but we tried our hardest to make the best of it. Go, 
going home, dude. I'm out of here, baby. Coming home. Hoo 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 Right here's good. Oh, you said 325. No, this is it's okay. Thanks. That'll be 1625, please. There you go. Bet your family can't wait to see you, huh? You think I'm coming tomorrow? Misses you. Okay, Jack. It's kind of quiet last night. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Mm hmm. You didn't have to kill anybody over there, did you? No. Huh. Go shoot someone. No. 
Yeah. I'm okay, Dad. Come on. Okay. Hey, morning. 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 Unbelievable. You girls are actually up and ready to go. I want your girls to eat something before you go, okay? Not Have you seen my phone? Uh, yeah. Speakers. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, how about this super cool record player? <laughs> oh, you know what you don't have? You don't have a laptop. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna check it out. Okay. outside of Baghdad. The Abu Ghraib prison, where Saddam Hussein subjected prisoners to hideous acts of torture and murder, is now the site of shocking new photos leaked from the prison, revealing United States soldiers abusing Iraqi prisoners of war. Michelle Williams is live in DC. Michelle? A warning to our viewers. The photos are disturbing and explicit. They reveal American soldiers committing abusive acts to Iraqi prisoners who were hooded, stripped naked, and piled into human pyramids. And then there are the American soldiers, smiling, pointing, screaming at the prisoners, and forcing their heads into buckets of their own excrement. Sources indicate that an investigation of the abuse is underway. So we have yet to learn if this type of behavior was sanctioned by the US military, or if it was the unauthorized acts of a few bad apples. Regardless, Bill, it makes you wonder what kind of person could do this. Once the world leader in establishing human rights for POWs, the damage to the U.S. international image will be devastating. Many Americans and people around the world will be disgusted by what they see. As for the soldiers, the repercussions for those involved are yet to be determined, but will surely be significant.
stars and stripes in my eyes drown and tore and I search in the dark for hope and more and if you can If you can, and if you can.